Ami nitasema marriage kila kila marriage na kujana ni kama constitution you know so every marriage is different and i wouldn't say what works for me might work for you at the end of the day it's about communication and not just communication but comprehension when you com communicate to your partner do they comprehend do they understand what you're saying cuz mimi na feel vitu mingi sana zina break because hakuna communication watu waongeleshane na wakiongeleshana kuna ego battle you know like i'm a woman i can do if if we walk in you know ch chest dumping in 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 situation you know in marriage in partnership manze ita itafika tu mahali ko elastic limit Ladies and gentlemen, to ha to ko hapa kwenye exclusive listening party ya King Kaka, and we're right here with Nana. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? You look amazing tonight. Thank you, Thank you very much. I appreciate. It. You look lovely as well. Thank you so much. That's such a compliment coming from you. Kunza tuambie before we even ask him, what do you think was the inspiration behind rhythm rhyme book ya Natkes? Um, of course, from the name, I think he's already explained that. Now, Nat Case is his bigger brother. He's like the second born. You know, King Kaka is the third born in their family. So the second born is called Dennis. But of course, his his stage name was was yeah, because he doesn't sing as rap as he used to. Uh, his name. His name, his stage name, was Nat Case when he was a rapper. So I think the inspiration is just him being, you know, you know, the big brother. You know, when when you're small, you want to look up to your bigger brothers because you you feel like they have the ropes of how you know things are done and adulting stuff like that. So uh, he looks at him like that. So for me, and the name itself already is just you know self-explanatory. The fact that he's looking up to his brother and his brother's a rapper writing a rhyme book. Una just kuzi watoi wa nandika mangoma kwa nini kwa tu phones nini nini sai kitambo ilikuwa kitambo nandika rhyme book kweni walini when you are leaning hill cuz you know back in the day you remember nation kitambo ilikuwa inatokea gazeti yenye ilikuwa sunday iko na the lyrics to the song boom boom ba you know like that so we used to stick those to to rhyme to rhymes kwa kitambo and then the next time manze wendo unajua kuimba because you already stuck those lyrics so umeshazi master so i think in is self explanatory the fact that ni rhyme book yake so literally ni kama Yani ni ni kama amepata rhyme book ya Nat Case yani. Yeah. Ah, nice nice. What would you say is your favorite song kwa hii? Ndasema the favorite favorite. Acha ni sema favorite lakini zote na ze like but kuna moja yenye ameperform na Jadi. Really really nice nice song yake pia na Prezo really really nice song. By the way kama nyinyi mimi nimezisikilia hapa hapa. Yeah, uh, yes, yes, yes. I don't listen to his songs before because I also want to be surprised as much. I don't want to take that away from myself. Yeah, so sisikizangi mziki before you talk pia mimi. Na kuanga kama nyinyi na ipata kwa ground. Fact. Kuna siku labda tutaona ukifanya labda collab na yeye. Collab. It's not that easily transmitted. Watch aimbe. Iko tu sawa. Mimi siezi imba. I don't think I can. I don't Kwa bafu, sawa. Kwa bafu. Ah, ah. Okay, I haven't looked at music like that. Na feelingi, music ni talent, senye unakuza, you know. So, if si kukua hivyo, and I don't look at it like that. If I eh, focus, probably na izaimba, but sijui kama na izaimba. But I haven't looked at it like that. Naona ye ndo musician, afanye kazi yake, mini fanya yangu. Yeah. Could you maybe be raising future musicians? Maybe one day we'll see a dad kid collabo with one of his kids. I mean, yeah. If they, they if they want to follow that route, then why not? Eh, me kwetu, watu kwetu tu na walatingi wadu vitu. How I wanna feel? Um, my do, my firstborn, Gwet, Gwet uh, plays football. She's in a football club. Uh, na pia na chora. So akona art classes. So me use manga. Watu wangu nataka kuwa fanya, wafanya kitu wako passionate about in the near future. Because when you're passionate about something and you're doing something passionately, you don't feel like you're working. So, yes, you're working, but then it's, you're enjoying in the process. And, and life is too evil. Just enjoy yourself in whatever you're doing. That's it. So, what end up with Naimba na Babao? So be it. Now tell us what's going on with Nana, by the way. You're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. 
I'm joking. But yeah, Nimekua to ground. I have a new sports show uh, in it was Tough Talk. T U R F T A L K. Na iko kwa channel yangu ya YouTube na itwa Bainana Witi. And mostly, I'm really passionate about sports and especially Kenyan football and, and, and especially women football. Na feel we are not giving them the, you know, the attention they deserve. I mean, tuangale starlets vile walicheza, tunangoja sayu watapiga the, the next team. And then angalia to rising starlets as well, wamepiga Angola. Four nil juicy while we pick up a home six one. Like if we support these kids, Ulinzi Starlets as well. That's my team. Uh, Vihiga Queens. Like to gaspo women. If to tap our hour, say your attention when I deserve it. As idea, it as idea up here football industry because na feel it's a multi million industry. But we are not paying attention. So of course, guys. Please to kutane to kwa study to one easy games za Kenya si ku support to Chelsea na Manu <laughs> eh, to support via kwa ground so that's basically what I've been doing recently but of course pia ni kona ile parenthood 101 where I talk about you know like parenting journey you know as a whole I also have Nana Nation where I talk to different women about you know things that are, uh, affect our society so basically that's what I'm doing at the moment speaking of things that are affecting our society excuse me come marriage to my party a five-year average term yakuka what do you think about the breakup that is happening recently what do you think is causing it what I was it Peter five years after the wedding yeah I mean to say my marriage killer killer marriage in a kujana nikama constitution you know so every marriage is different and I wouldn't say what works for me might work for you at the end of the day it's about communication and not just communication but comprehension when you com communicate to your partner do they comprehend do they understand what you're saying because I feel vitu mingi sana zina break because hakuna communication watu waongeleshane na wakiongeleshana kuna ego battle you know like I'm a woman I can do if if we walk in you know ch chest thumping in, in, in situation, you know, in marriage, in partnership, manze ita itafika tu mahali ko elastic limit. So if to understand yana, tu ongele shane, and then always, you know, I vile miu, miu, miu wak na yangu niko, I always ask myself swali like, if ningefanyu wa ivo, would I be okay with it? So with that in mind, then I can make informed decisions. So peer finances, to kwe too honest, Mina feelingi wase wasaidiane kwa marriage si ati mzee mzee akuwe tu le ndo anafanya tu kila kitu unaona so na pia dem pia kifanya sianze kuleta kifua unajua at the end of the day umu wanaume atakuwa kichwa na atazidi kuwa kichwa utakuwa shingo but you have to work together because the head can't work without the neck so uh, na feel tu ki respect mzee wako na mskizane na muandastandiane Mtafika tu mali mnaenda. Lakini hapo kwa finances, you know, Annalisa warned us about not supporting men. Ukiwa support, wanaenda wanapotea, na inabaki everything you did for him is almost like he's ungrateful. What do you think about that? But everyone can only speak from their point of view, you know. So, um, partnership ni kama biashara. No, no. Marriage ni kama biashara. So, if you run it like a sole proprietorship, then it acquires sole proprietorship. If you run it like a partnership, the way you are supposed to run it as, then it a, it a work because I'm raising sons, yeah? And I honestly want to, I want to be the, the, the person they look up to in terms of marriage. Like nataka akiniangalia, nataka mtu, mtu like kijana wangu akiulizwa, unataka partner kama gani. I honestly want, I can only be that person. Mwenye nataka awa emulate, and that comes with manze niku hard ilda, niku hard sana. So I imagine kuachia tumse wako afanye kila kitu. Honestly speaking, you think it's right? Absolutely not. Imagine even though tamu utaingisha kijana depression. Wala itena imagine, but I imagine kisaidiana. We ona saile ona sema ya fanya ni fanya i. Ona vile vitu zina work. But ukijieke hapo ati yeo mwanaume ya kue provide awe shauri yako. <laughs> what should you say is that one thing about King Kaka that you would want your sons to emulate? Almost everything. is is like, dasema, 
to arrive at the person he is right now has been a process. He was never this person. And I always say that. Like, he was not the person. Like, Unge Niuliza, a couple of years ago, I'll probably say, Ay! <laughs> but then, I'm at a I may evolve. You know, you can't be the same person that you were five years ago. And for him, it's taken a lot of unpacking. It's taken a lot of... Lazima pia ya kuwea willing kusema, okay, inaendaje. Because saingine uneza kuwaza mtu na ujuu na mkuwaza, but akisha kuambia, e unanikuwaza hivi, then wewe ukwe receptive of kile unambiwa. But no, no, to engi wana kuanga zile defensive. Like by the way, I think to me trainiwa. I think ni hardship to zee to mbaya. To me trainiwa. Lazima ukuem defensive. Uji defend any before ukubali. Unajua. But la utekin kile unambiwa. Unpack kile uluku unajua. Na weke i bagu kwe aya. Wanze ukwe receptive of ideas zingine. Si ile tu kitu uluku unajua. Iyo ndo shida mingi sana na wase. Yeah. All right, Nana, I want to say congratulations. You've been with Kaka for so many times. We've seen so many situation challenges in life, of course. You've been there to support Kaka. Now, one, I want to say congratulations now. Your son, Royal, and a graduate. I'm a graduate, Leo. Yes, how do you feel as a mom to see your son graduating? It's epic, to be honest. It's, it's epic. It's been a journey. And now, uh, Nanga, too, I say, oh, Royal, Royal. Yeah, Royal did, didn't grow like under my heart but he grew in inside my heart you know like sim i didn't bath him but he's he's my child you know but the virtue of this is the only family he knows so i'm like super super excited for him he's a very good footballer football club so uh, like today has been epic honestly you as a mother is always happy to see one of your, I say a big daughter, adopted uh, daughter, Kanambo, doing very well exercising in school. As a mother, do you reflect now the journey up to now? What have you learned maybe from Kanambo and then moving forward from Kenyans to learn from you? For me, this is not the first time I'm actually raising a teenager. I've raised my sister, so it's, it's not really an, a new journey for me, but it, it's challenging, of course, because Mashida ni different, you know, like back in the day ilikuwa shida zingine, but now of course with mobs in a change, but I'm, I'm super excited for Kanambo because one, one, she listens, two, she communicates her feelings, and I don't, you know, like, want her to shun away from speaking her heart and how she feels, so I, I, I honestly want to be a big sister to her as much as I am a mother, and, and just to see her, you know, spread her wings to fly and just be this all-rounded person, good in, in, in school, and still do her music. And now, finally, by this quiz, she couldn't do that before. So I'm just happy. I'm just blessed. I am super blessed, to be honest. Yeah. All right, maybe my last question will be that, uh, you know, Kaka Melelo Islando, now, boy, I'm telling you, story na love, na romantic. But you know, this year, we'll go to London, eh? And I could treat, and I could send me messages, and I could prepare. Sometimes, when I'm not going to dinner, breakfast, pamoja. How do you feel now? Love your Islands, you know, because I'm going to be romantic till now. Tasema, it's been intentional. It's it's a it's an intentional decision for him to not be whatever they say Islando boys are supposed to be, but you want to challenge the norm and and do better. So it's, it's something that has been a process. It's a due process where, of course, kuna vitu mingi haku anajua, but pole pole tu anaenda ki adapta kijua. So I'm super happy. This is the happiest I've been in my life. Yeah. Just on, on a music aspect about Kaka. You've been there close to Kaka. You're more than a friend to Kaka. What is that one thing maybe Kaka wants to achieve as an artist? Is it performing in, in, on those big arenas? Is it uh, winning Grammy Award? What is that one thing that Kaka always pushed to achieve in life? As an artist. Yeah, but that's his story to tell. <laughs> that's definitely his story to tell, not mine, but I'm sure you will know. <laughs> that's his story to tell, we not mine. No, we share dreams that they're supposed to be to now. Right, now, apart from music now, as a dad, what is that Kaka always make sure that family come first? They know that, but family never miss. What is that thing? Time. He's always creating time, which is the most priceless resource ever. So for him to just be intentional and create time for his family, that's an absolute win. Maybe sasa a word to Kaka. 
Um, <laughs> it's, it's, I'm so happy to, to see uh, you achieving all your dreams, anything that you write down, anything that you say you will, you do, and I'm here for it, man. Go for it. The world is your oyster, man. Yani, achieve kila kitu because mina juwa uta achieve too. This is just me telling you, I got your back. <laughs> Maybe as we finish, I want to your fans, Sasa. Thank you guys for supporting me, always. Thank you for every person. I don't like to call you fans, but thank you for every family that, you know, comes to support me in whichever way, in whichever form, shape. I am here just to say thank you and please subscribe to my YouTube channel by Nana Owiti Jinamoja and then watch to Nafanya Squeezy Sports Sana. So yeah, watch watch that and subscribe. Nawapenda Sana. Thank you so much. Thank you.